Yo, what's good everybody on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in back for another video on this channel and this one is going to be something that I've been asked about from time to time is where I get my flannels. So I'll give you guys some flannel recommendations where you can cop some fire flannels and just, you know, show you guys how I would rock them personally. When it comes to the outfits, I'm not going to be tossing on outfits right now. I'm just going to be showing you guys some B-roll clips with them on. If you guys would like to see me wear outfits with flannels and everything like that, they'll be on my Instagram page so you guys can go ahead and follow that. I'll pop up a couple of flannel photos that I have on there right now but hopefully you guys enjoy this video sit back relax and let's get into it so you know the drill before the video starts please go ahead and smash that like button for me and then also subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed you guys have been killing it with the likes and the comments lately so keep the good vibes going go ahead and drop a comment smash that like button and if you are new here we are pushing out a video every Sunday and sometimes Wednesdays or Thursdays um, if you would like to see. All right, so when it comes down to my nice little small flannel collection, majority of them are from H&M. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm sure you guys do see the vlog where my girlfriend and I are H&M. I'm always picking up a new flannel, um, but some of them are thrifted. Some of them, or one of them is from Forever 21. It just really comes down to the pattern and the quality, really what you're looking for in that whole flannel look. I'm gonna give you guys some recommendations, some price points, but H&M is most definitely the spot for me personally to go ahead and check out for some dope flannel prints and some right, stuff. So with one of the first flannels I did want to highlight in this video, this one is from H&M. I did go a size extra large just because I wanted to toss this on purposely over a hoodie. In the B-roll clips, I'm going to be rocking this with the everyday minimal hoodie if anyone is interested in that. My code on minimal does still work, so go ahead and use it if you would like to. I'll pop it up right here. But I tossed on the everyday minimal hoodie with this flannel over it just because this is on the thinner side and uh, most definitely a nice little print to it it goes with a lot just because it's black and white and it does have a small hints of brown and I know the color brown is very in right now so so with the next piece I wanted to highlight is another piece from H&M really dope flannel I believe they're calling this a shacket this one was retailed at $35 I'm um, a little on the steeper side as far as H&M goes but the thickness to the nice little shacket is there nice little flannel print to it it is gray white and a hint of brown like I said that whole tan and brown earth tone colorway is very in right now would most definitely recommend this you can also toss this on with a hoodie if you'd like to underneath but I have been wearing it just by itself and it does keep me warm I do have a photo in this on Instagram I'm sure you guys have seen it but I did rock this with black cargos and then the UNLV off-white dunks so I do like this one a lot $35 in this one I did go a size large so talking about this piece right here if you guys didn't check out the vlog when I did pick this up this one was retailed at $35 again um, but I did get a size extra large just because they were out of larges but Honestly, it did fit very, very nicely. The one thing I wanted to highlight in this one right here is that I really, really love that zipper that they have. A little different from the buttons. And um, recently, I did toss this on with a Warren Lotus uh, t-shirt underneath. I'll have that photo on Instagram up very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. But I do like this one a lot, especially, I don't know if a lot of brands are doing this, but I do like the zipper flannel thing way more than the buttons, just because I feel like it looks a little more sleek. Uh, but yeah, retailed at $35 from H&M. I would most definitely recommend this one. This is probably my favorite flannel in the whole video. All right, so a little backstory behind this piece right here. I was vlogging with Paul when he was in Las Vegas and I randomly saw this flannel right here. I haven't stepped foot inside of a Forever 21 in maybe a couple of years, a couple of months. I'm not too sure. Um, but I did pick this up from Forever 21 Men and the quality and the thickness to this little flannel jacket is very, very nice. Um, one thing that I really loved was that my girlfriend wore it and she tossed it on with my everyday minimal hoodie I'll go ahead and pop up her Instagram photo right here But I did like how she rocked it with this flannel right here I do like the colors to it. I would probably rock this with some shadow ones Maybe even some mochas just because that gray kind of goes with a lot. Let's go ahead and you know test it out but uh, honestly, I think this would work out together. So let me know what you guys think about this. I so speaking of the Mocha ones, I will have a lookbook with me wearing just this shoe and trying to toss on different outfits. So this one might be highlighted. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think about it. But let's go ahead and move on to the last flannel in this video. So one thing I really do want to highlight, your boy likes to thrift a lot. If you guys don't check out the web store, bflicksupply.com, 
Everything is curated by me. I find a lot in the thrift store from time to time. I do kind of go a lot, so um, maybe I'm there a little too much. But the thing I also like to look for in the thrift store is just some different flannels that you won't see. Just because if you go to Forever 21, multiple people can be found with this flannel. If you go to H&M, multiple people might have this flannel as well. It doesn't really matter, but when you're thrifting, Flannels are cheap and they kind of look good. I'm not too sure if you can consider this a flannel, but it does have a nice print to it. I do like this one a lot. My girlfriend found this and I believe we only paid like seven bucks for it. So um, thrifting flannels is something I would highly, highly recommend just because they're always gonna be there. Everyone in the thrift store is kind of looking for some hype vintage pieces and stuff like that. But if you can thrift a really good flannel, why not go ahead and pick it up? Um, Cause honestly, thrifting is fun and if you can find something that no one else might have, then I would highly recommend it. All right, so to wrap up this video, I just wanna let you guys know you can find flannels everywhere. I'm just giving you guys some recommendations, showing you guys my personal pieces and my collection of clothes. Um, you can find them anywhere from Uniqlo, Urban Outfitters, H&M, Forever 21, even the thrift store, like I said. It's kind of just up to you guys on what patterns, what colors you guys would like. I would most definitely recommend at least having maybe even five flannels in your rotation, um, just cause you can switch it up with the colors. For example, I have a blue flannel to an orange flannel and then also like some black and whites and grays it's really up to you guys and what patterns you guys would like um, but let me know what you guys think about this video I know I didn't really style it with outfits I kind of just showed you guys my Instagram but um, I still feel like that really works out anyways because Instagram is kind of where I'm showing my outfits and just in this tiny room I have it's kind of hard to film full outfit videos so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please go ahead and smash that like button for me and also subscribe if you guys are new here. I do have a lot more videos coming out, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can check me out on Instagram and then also check out my web store if you guys would like to shop with me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace. All right, so you guys know the drill. If you are sticking to the end of the video, go ahead and comment the hands praying emoji. I'm not too sure if it's hands praying or two people giving each other a high five. Um, I'm sure you guys know what emoji that is. So if you guys are sticking to the end of the video, watching the whole way through, go ahead and comment down below this emoji. And for those who are interested, I will be going live on Richie Lee's drop on the 19th. I believe the drop is at 9 a.m. So I'll be going live on this channel at 8 a.m. Trying to give you guys a nice little live caught video. Maybe answer a couple of questions as far as sizing. Hopefully you guys are interested in that and hopefully you do tune in to that live. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. More videos coming soon. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all have a good one. Peace.